guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be filming a different kind of video. Um, it's going to be kind of like a DIY tutorial type of thing. Um, so basically, I'm making a birthday card for my best friend because her birthday is in two days. And I'm not going to be home tomorrow, so I decided to do it tonight. And her birthday's on Sunday. Today's... Today's Friday. Wow, I didn't even know. I was like trying to, I thought it was Thursday. So yeah, so I'm not going to be home tomorrow and her birthday's Sunday. So I'm sleeping over at her house. So I'm going to be able to make her a birthday card at her house. So basically it's going to be a Lily Pulitzer print that we're going to be doing today because that's what she likes. So I just looked up a Lily Pulitzer print on Pinterest and yeah, it's the pineapple print and it looks like that. And her name is Patty, which is why that's written here. Um, yeah, I already wrote on the back and whatever, but yeah, so this is what your finished product will look like. Um, I just thought it would be fun to do this. Um, I'm not an artist. I don't regularly. So yeah, I just thought it would be fun to film and yeah, so I already finished. You're going to see me do it. It was a lot of trial and error. I started a lot of different cards. I got a little Pulitzer idea like midway through, so I really hope you enjoy this video and leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, we made it to 100 subscribers, I've literally been on YouTube for like 5 years and have been deleting and uploading, deleting and uploading, so making it to 100 subscribers is like, <sighs> I like choked on this, but making it to 100 subscribers is like kind of crazy, so thanks for that if you're subscribed and yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, so let's get started. Hey guys, so first things first is you're going to choose what image you want to copy from whatever website I chose from Pinterest and then you're going to choose what color you want to use in order to get the most accurate read. Um, I kind of switched up the colors a little bit. The colors were more like turquoisey pinkish and I went with more orangey light blue greens type of colors. So as you can see, I'm copying the pattern. Lily Pulitzer does kind of like a dotted type of thing, at least they did for this pineapple print that they have. So that's what I'm trying to um, emulate, I guess. I'm starting off doing the darker colors, so like the darker watercolor towards the top and then fade out towards the bottom. And then you're gonna see me switching brushes to do the leafy part that is green way at the top and then to add some dimension I add in the blue to make it you know not look as flat because I do want it to look kind of nice and like not like just one color I don't know how to explain that um but yeah so basically at this part right here I tried to do one of the little diamond designs that's in the picture I didn't like how it turned out so I, I only did it once but it did kind of blend in with the rest of the photo Alright, so here you see me trying to change things up a little bit, especially with the colors of the pineapples. So, um, not all of the pineapples in the photo are uniform in color. Um, like the base part of the pineapple, um, the colors kind of vary. It goes between the blue and then the pinkish color. So then I tried to copy that, but only with different colors. I went with um, pinkish leaves with um, a little bit of green to add, um, you know, dimension. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. Um, so yeah, I added a little bit of green and pink to the least add dimension. And then the base part of the pineapple, I made like this turquoise, turquoise-ish blue and kind of a green color. And then the other side blended out into more of an orange. So that way the color, the colors in the picture will have like more dynamic and it won't be just the same color for every single thing so it won't look like kind of like a stamped pattern and it'll look more like a watercolor art piece so it's not like identical pieces all throughout so it makes it a little bit more interesting so that's what I've tried to do there and then you're gonna see me kind of try to match all of the colors so I took the blue um kind of a more greener blue um, and put it right next to the blue pineapple <laughs> and use that blue as the leaves and then I'm going to start doing the pineapples and that same orangey color and then I think I also added some of the pink to just add a little bit of 
like I said, dimension and with the pineapple part so that it doesn't look, um, just kind of how it looks, not more realistic, but like how it looks more like a faded, you just take like the more colorful part of the watercolor and when it's strongest you put it at the top and then you let it fade down as you come to the bottom so just do the top part and round it out. So now I'm also adding a couple of just geometric shapes and lines um, with the different colors. So I used this dark burgundy magenta color and then I also used a dark blue later on. So now I'm just going to keep filling in the pineapples and then adding in the little lines wherever I want. Alright, so now you're just going to see me repeating the pineapple shape um, throughout the rest of the card. And basically, um, yeah, I'm just going to switch up the colors a little bit, but it's the same concept. You just do the dots repeatedly, as I said before. And kind of the trick that I used to do the leaves, um, I would choose a base color, like here it was the light green, and the more with watercolors, the when you initially use watercolors, it's gonna be stronger the first time that you like lay the brush on the paper. So the stronger strokes will be towards the middle, and then the more faded out ones I did towards the outside edge. And then I would add another color, a darker or lighter, and I would take the second part, like the second color, and kind of brush it off on a piece of paper that I had on the side, and then use the faded out color like towards the middle to add a little bit of dimension so that it didn't look so flat and it looks more of a leaf shape because if you don't do that it kind of just looks like a couple lines everywhere um but yeah so right now I'm just working on completing the pineapple pattern all throughout the rest of the painting <laughs> So here I'm starting to take that magenta color that I took before and I'm adding some patterns all throughout because I don't want it to just be, um, like I said, I didn't want it to be kind of a stamped thing where it's just pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. I want it to have, I want it to be more interesting. So I started, um, I took the dark blue and then I also took the dark magenta color and I started making little lines and little dots everywhere where I thought it would fit in. Um, here's me zooming out so you'd see better. But yeah, so I started taking little dots and I wanted it to be with all within kind of like the same tropical color scheme. And then um, I'm starting to do my one of my very last pineapples, I think. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm starting to do the pineapple pattern again, very on the edge. And then um, I'm starting to finish up now. And basically, yeah, so doing the little leaf thing that I've been doing and I'll let you continue watching but um yeah see as you can see I'm starting to add little patterns just to make it a little bit more interesting more lively more dynamic um so it's just not boring <laughs> the painting part of the card and I'm just writing out happy birthday patty um I used the dark blue as a border because I thought it would finish it off kind of nicely kind of looks like the ocean I don't know that's just me and yeah so now I'm just doing a little script fonting thing lettering thing I'm not really good at lettering but you know I try and yeah so that's the end of this it was kind of quick and I hope you guys liked my awkward voiceover and I really hope you enjoyed watching me paint this card because I had a lot of fun doing it. 
So yeah, I think that's it. I'll just show you guys a close up in a second. And oh yeah, so I kind of framed the words because I thought it looked kind of empty. Um, pink is her favorite color and I thought it matched the rest of the painting kind of cute. So I just added a little bit of that pink there and yeah, so let's take a close up of that card. Alright, so this is the finished product. I added a little pineapple below her name to just finish things off. But if you like it, leave me a comment down below, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and keep an eye out for the next video. Thanks so much, guys.